Is it possible to create photorealistic material using only one map downloaded from the internet? Everything is possible with Photoshop. This is Monica from edac.org. Using only one texture, I will create additional maps for reflections and bumps. Thanks to this, I will create photorealistic material. Let's start. I prepared the scene and this is the interior with an armchair. Today I will focus on this armchair material. To do this, let's go to the material library. You can download this texture from the link in the description of the video. As we can see, we have only one texture. This is a diffuse map and this is a leather texture for the armchair. To create realistic material, I need more maps. I will do this in two ways. The first way will be to create new maps using Photoshop and the second way will be creating new maps without the Photoshop. I will open this map in Photoshop, that's why I right click and open with Adobe Photoshop. Firstly, I will focus on the reflection color map. The most important thing to do is to change the color of this map. In the reflection color, I mostly use black and white maps. That's why I go to create new adjustment layer and choose black and white. And our map has changed. I need to change some values, mostly reds and yellows, to create a brighter or darker map. And we can change some colors. I will set red to minus 50 and that's all. The next thing to do is to create a new adjustment layer. It will be levels. That's why I click on the adjustment layer and choose levels. And here I can change some values to create a lighter or darker map. I think that it looks okay and I will create new map. To do this, I go to the layer tab and choose merge visible. And this is our new layer. I will rename it to reflection color. We need one more map and it will be normal map. To do this, we need a special function, but firstly, I will duplicate the existing layer. That's why I right click on the layer and choose duplicate layer. I will name it as normal map. And now I will convert this map to the smart object. Right click, convert to smart object. And thanks to it, I will have a possibility to change the normal map anytime I want. And to create normal map, I go to the filter tab, 3D and generate normal map. It's a very helpful feature and automatically our map has changed to a normal map. Here I can change some values, for example, blur. I don't want to have large value for blur. That's why I will change it to zero. Then I have detail scale. 50 is fine. We can change it to 60 or 70. And here we have contrast details. 50% is enough. If you want to have highly detailed normal map, you can change these values to 100 and this map will be very, very detailed. I will leave it as it is. I click OK and we have a normal map. And that's all. We can save these maps to the folder. And these are our maps which we will use to create realistic material for the armchair. I go back to SketchUp, go to the Asset Editor, and here I have armchair material. Firstly, I will load a map to diffuse tab. That's why I click on the texture slot, bitmap, and choose diff. Go to the previous asset. Okay, this is our material. Let's check the render. And this is our armchair. As you can notice, the texture is very flat and we need to add new reflections and bump. That's why I go to the reflection tab. In the reflection color, I will upload bitmap. I created such map and choose it open. 
and we can notice that the reflection is visible on the sample. Then I will change the reflection glossiness value to 0 0.7. Let's check the render. This is our armchair with reflections. We can compare these two armchairs. This one is an armchair without reflections, and this one is with reflections. We can see a difference. Now it looks much better. Okay, let's move on to bump. As we remember, we prepared a map for bump tap. This will be normal map. I change the mode to normal map and then upload a normal map. Open. Remember that if you are using a normal map, you need to change color space from screen space to rendering space. And that's all. Here we need to change a value, the intensity of the bump. It should be something about 0 0.15, 0 0.25. Check the render. We can notice a leather material in the armchair. When I come closer, we can see the normal map texture. I think that this armchair looks very nice. But what to do if we don't have Photoshop? We can also create additional maps. Let's do it. I will clear the reflection color map, right click and clear. And now I'll create reflection color map using V-Ray. I go to the diffuse tab, copy this texture, right click and copy, and paste it to the reflection color. Paste as copy. Then I will change this map. That's why I right click, rub in, color correction. Firstly, I will change the saturation to minus one. Our map is black and white. Then I change the lightness mode to gain gamma lift. And here I can change some values to create a lighter or a darker map. I think that this map looks very similar to the previous one created in Photoshop. I go to the previous asset and we can notice reflection on the surface. Then let's go to the bump tab. I will clear this map. Let's clear it. Create a different normal map. To do this, we will use a website. The link to this website is in the description of the video. If you want to create a normal map, all you have to do is click somewhere here and load a map. I will upload this map and wait a second. In just two seconds, we create a normal map, which we can download. Just click download. We have a new normal map and looks like this. I will upload this map, bitmap, choose a new normal map. I will change the color space to rendering space. Let's render. This is the material where the maps were created in Photoshop. And this is material with maps created without the Photoshop. I think that both results looks very realistic. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and leave a like. Check out my website edac.org with many interesting SketchUp and V-Ray courses. See you soon. Bye.